वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो एसेसरीज फॉर सैमसंग गलेक्सी नोट 4. इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई हैड शोन यू द वायर्ड एसेसरीज फॉर सैमसंग गलेक्सी नोट 4. नाउ इन दिस पार्ट आई विल शो यू द वायरलेस एसेसरीज फॉर सैमसंग गलेक्सी नोट 4. हियर डॉक्टर बी सी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग बी सी डी टेक इन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई हैड शोन यू द वायर्ड एसेसरीज Please click here to see that part one. Now in this video episode, I will show you the wireless accessories. Wireless accessories means Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC connected accessories, wireless charging, and IR port. The first one in the list is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is the first wireless accessories that had been made ever for smartphone. The range of Bluetooth is around 10 meters. There are lot of accessories that can be connected through this Bluetooth. The first Bluetooth accessories in the list is headphones. Sometimes it is also called as hand-free. It are of two types, mono and stereo. Now I will show you. There are two type of headphones. That is Bluetooth connected headphones. Uh, that is uh, HM1100. That is a uh, Bluetooth from Samsung. It is a mono headphone. That is Bluetooth headphone. It has only one ear plug, and there is a stereo headphone also. It is a stereo headphone from Sony, and it has two ear plugs. left and right so uh, there are two types of headphone that uh, is available in the market one is called as mono headphone and other is called as stereo headphone both are connected to this samsung galaxy note 4 at the same time with the help of inbuilt bluetooth here you can see that uh, that is my uh, sony headphone and as you can see that i had connected that sony headphone and here you, you can see that uh, sbh 52 started and here you can see the time on the oled display of this sony headphone uh, likewise you can also connect uh, the second that is a mono headphone uh, that is hm1100 now it is connected it only support a phone audio you can only call through this headphone you cannot listen the music through this headphone but with the help of this stereo headphone you can listen the uh, music and also handle the call or uh, now there are many others uh headphones available in the market with different size look and shape but the theme is same someone has only one ear plug and someone has two ear plugs now many others are also in the list and also there are many uh, headphones which doesn't come with any microphone that is purely for listening the music or uh, that is a bluetooth first accessories Now the second accessories in the list is the computer connection. Yes, you can use that Bluetooth to connect your phone to the computer. As seen in our previous video, you can connect the phone with the help of this uh, USB end. But with the help of this Bluetooth, you can also connect this phone with your computer. Earlier, you can see that there are particular software like Nokia PC Suite. which work on the nokia devices or nokia smartphone the pc suit connect with the nokia phone with the help of that bluetooth connection similarly the previous generation of this samsung galaxy phone also connect with your uh, pc that is a particular software that is skies with the help of this bluetooth right now the advanced headset that is like uh, this samsung galaxy note 4 3 and s5 4 uh, doesn't support this uh, bluetooth connectivity but you can do the data transfer likewise uh, i will tell you how you can do the data transfer uh, first of all you have to select some file in your file manager let's uh, see i am i want to share a file let's suppose i want to share that file okay just see with that gallery I want to share this file with my uh, computer. Just you have to tap uh, here and then tap Bluetooth. And here you can see that my Hase computer is paired. Now I will send this file to my Hase computer. So by the help of this uh, Bluetooth function, you can transfer data to the PC or vice versa. That is from PC to that phone. You can also connect a wireless mouse. that means you can use that phone with a particular app as you can see on this nokia phone uh, you can download an app and use that bluetooth connectivity to control your presentations and so on with the help of this phone or uh, that is a very cool feature i had used that feature many times it is very good and you can also go with an internet connections yes you can uh, use that bluetooth and just uh, go to the setting and then to tethering and mobile hotspot and here you can see that you can use this bluetooth tethering to share the internet from this device to another device or uh, that you can also see in on this nokia devices that uh, you can use that bluetooth to connect 
the phone to the PC and the, also the internet from the phone to the PC. Uh, that is a very cool feature. Now the third mode on this Bluetooth connection is connecting the another phone. Yes, you can use that Bluetooth to connect with your another phone. Let's tap that Bluetooth icon and just um, tap this connection mode. And here you can see that, okay, I had already paired that. Now if you want to transfer some data or file from this phone to this one or vice versa, just you have to go to your files and then share and then tap this Bluetooth icon and then just tap this phone. And here you can see on that another phone, a message come uh, that our uh, file sharing. Now accept that. And after uh, here you can see that uh, Bluetooth sharing is active and uh, this phone is now receiving the data from this phone. Now after some time you can see that one file is successfully transferred. Let's see that file. Open that. Okay, so you can see that I had transferred one file from this phone to this phone by the help of this Bluetooth. You can also transfer the songs, contact information and many other things from this phone to this phone or vice versa with the help of this Bluetooth function. You can also share the internet. Uh, let's suppose I want to share my uh, 3G network uh, with this phone by the help of this Bluetooth. Uh, you have to just go in the setting and then go into the more and in this teethering and portable mo mobile hotspot you have to own this bluetooth teethering now once you own that bluetooth teethering you can just go to your regular phone and just uh, tap that bluetooth icon and just connect with your phone and once it is connected you can use the internet from the 3G network on this phone to this Note 4. Uh, that is very cool feature. Now I will put this phone aside. Now the next accessories that can be connected to this phone by the help of this Bluetooth adapter is dual SIM adapters. Yes, you can connect different type of Bluetooth adapters that is dual SIM adapter with this phone by the help of this Bluetooth device. Right now I had uh, three adapters. One is called as Gmate Plus, another is Swatch Blue and third one is GP file. Now you can use uh, the Bluetooth of this phone to connect these three devices. Uh, you can connect one device at a time or you can connect all of these three devices at the same time with the help of this Bluetooth from this uh, Note 4. Right now I am not connecting these two devices but I will show you how you can convert this Note 4 into a dual SIM devices by the help of this Gmate Plus uh, from Skyrom. For that you have to install that application that is called as Gmate on your phone. Just open that Gmate and by the help of this Gmate you can dial a number. Now you can see that I had called through this Gmate and uh, a Gmate number is showing on my second phone. Now I will end the call and show you the main SIM on this phone. Let's try to dial that number again. And here you can see that a SIM from the Note 4 is calling to this Xiaomi phone. So you can see that by the help of this Gmate Plus, you can convert your Note 4 into a dual SIM device and by the help of this Shots Blue and GP file, you can convert your Note 4 into a triple SIM uh, device uh, by connecting all of these three devices at the same time, you can convert your Note 4 into a six SIM devices or uh, that is very cool feature. You can also use various other devices that is available in the market that is a Mocha Blue, SIM More and very other devices to convert your Note 4 into a dual, triple or quad SIM devices. Now the next device that you can connect with your Note 4 by the help of this Bluetooth is keyboard and mouse. I had two wireless keyboard and mouse uh, that is a wireless keyboard from Jabronix and that is a wireless mouse from this Lenovo. Here you can see that it has two connectivity mode that is a adapter mode and that is a Bluetooth mode. You can connect this mouse in the two way. I had point this pointer to this Bluetooth mouse. Now it is a Bluetooth mouse and the here is a Jabronix uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Now you can connect both of these devices at the same time with your Note 4. Uh, now I, you can see that I had connected this Bluetooth keyboard that is a Jabronix keyboard with my Note 4. You can use that keyboard to uh, do various typing function on this Note 4. Likewise, I had let's want to type this YouTube and then tap enter. You can also play with the help of this keyboard. Uh, yeah, you can see the O. Oh. So by the help of this Bluetooth, you can connect your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with your Note 4. That is a cool feature. Now the next device that you can connect with your Note 4 by the help of this Bluetooth is our smartwatches.
right now i had a uh, two smart watches one is samsung gear 2 and another is sony smart watch you can connect both of these devices with your note 4 by the help of this bluetooth likewise i had connected my gear 2 here you can see that you can control this note 4 by the help of this gear you can uh, dial a number and here you can see that the call is connected and uh, you can also listen the call directly by gear 2 uh, you can control the phone you can also uh, handle the notification directly with the help of this smart watch likewise you can also use a sony smart watch a lg smart watch a moto 360 with this note 4 likewise there is many another smart watches available in the market that can be connected with this note 4 there are other lot of devices that can be connected to this note 4 by the help of this bluetooth like there is a fitness band you can use that fitness band to monitor your heart rate performance blood pressure etc uh, that is quite available in your market and it is very cheap you can use that fitness band with your note 4 again it is connected by the help of this bluetooth you can also connect your music system yes you can use a bluetooth uh, based connectivity to connect your music system directly with this note 4 or uh, you can uh, control the music you can increase or decrease the volume by the help of this note 4 it is quite useful in certain condition now you can also connect various do it yourself project with the help of this bluetooth with this note 4 there are lot of projects available in the market that can be connected through this note 4 by the help of this bluetooth again you can also control the robots with the help of this bluetooth sometime it is important that you use a wireless mode to control your robot and the bluetooth is very reliable method to control that uh, robots you can also control the quadcopter helicopter and various other flying machine with the help of this note 4 by the that bluetooth connectivity but you can control that quadcopter or helicopter or other flying machine up to 10 meter of the range that is a limitation of this bluetooth connectivity you can also connect the arduino based project with this note 4 by the help of this uh, bluetooth and there are many more gadgets that can be connected to this note 4 by the help of this bluetooth so bluetooth connectivity seem a endless options for this note 4 Now the next connectivity mode on this Note 4 is Wi-Fi. It has long range as compared to Bluetooth. Basically, it is introduced to connect with your office router or home routers. Now it has very long range of application. Now you can connect with your home router. You can connect with your office router. You can connect with your local hub routers. You can also connect with your hub switches and Wi-Fi. This is a, a Wi-Fi device from Hawaii. You can uh, connect this uh, Wi-Fi device or this type of my MTS Wi-Fi devices uh, with the help of this Wi-Fi mode. This Wi-Fi mode is generally used to connect with the internet. You can also connect with the various storage devices with the help of this Wi-Fi. Sometimes the storage devices is connected with your uh, home router or office router. You can access that storage device with the help of this Wi-Fi connectivity. There is a particular application or particular file location. You have to only go with that. that uh, address and you can access the file or you can store your file from your phone with that wifi connectivity now the next accessories that you can connect with this note 4 by the help of this wifi is a wireless display this is a, a particular adapter which can connect your note 4 with your local tv like chromecast it has a uh, output and this is a hdmi and you can plug this hdmi and in your tv and then this two power adapter and then you can connect this device with the help of this note 4 with the particular proprietary software now you can access the display of this note 4 on your local tv or a big screen with the help of this type of adapters now the next device that you can connect with this note 4 by the help of wifi is womet 2 uh, that is my womet 2 uh, it is a wifi device uh, like this hawaii device it is a wifi device but with the help of this hawaii device you cannot call to any number and with the help of this gmate the call quality is very poor because of the bluetooth connectivity but with the help of this womet 2 you can uh, access the internet and also call through that uh, device at a same time uh, so we can see that this womet 2 is equal to this gmate plus plus this uh, hawaii myfi adapter so with the help of this womet 2 you can convert your note 4 into a dual sim device you can also access the internet that is a 3g with this womet 2 um, and in both of this mode you can connect this device with note 4 by the help of this wifi so the call quality and the connection mode is very very reliable and it is very very fast so now with the help of this wifi connectivity you can connect various diy projects arduino and robots with this 
not for by the help of this wi-fi only the difference between bluetooth connected accessories and the wi-fi connected accessories is that this wi-fi connected accessories can go with very long range you can control that device at a very large distance with the help of this wi-fi mode but with the help of bluetooth mode you can control the device up to only 10 meters so by the help of this wi-fi connectivity you can control your various projects adreno projects and robots at a quite large distance as compared to bluetooth accessories now the next connectivity mode on Note 4 is NFC. It is called as near field communication and it is introduced by Nokia in their devices. You can see this NFC on various devices. On Note 4 you can see that that NFC can be used to connect the speakers. Right now I will show you. Uh, just tap that NFC device here and here you can see that it asks to pair this SBS52 and don't separate that device and here you can see that it is connecting SBH52 and now it is connected so by the help of this NFC you can connect various speakers you can also connect the health gadget fitness band and other devices and it is a still emerging area you can see lot of research on this NFC sharing and NFC connection mode you can see lot of NFC devices in upcoming few years now the next accessories for Note 4 is wireless charging. Right now I don't have any wireless charger with me but I will tell you a wireless charger can charge this Note 4 wirelessly. That means you have to not plug any charger in this uh, port just you have to put that phone on a uh, charger and it gets start charging. Uh, that is a very cool feature. It uh, uses inductive based charging to charge your Note 4. For that you have to just uh, plug in an antenna here that is a, a charging coil here there is some uh, pads here to connect that wireless coil uh, once you connected that coil just put your back cover and then put that phone on your wireless charger now by the help of this mutual induction and emf is generated and, and it gets start charging and that is a very cool feature right now i don't have any charger to show you in this video but you can use that charger to charge your note 4 now the final connectivity mode on this Note 4 is IR port that is a IR port you can use that IR to control your TV, uh, digital TV, uh, fridge, uh, electronic gadgets, switches and various other stuffs with the help of this IR port for that you have to just uh, install a particular application on your phone right now you can see that I have controlling my Airtel digital TV with that uh, IR port I had installed a program that is an uh, application on this Note 4 that is a pre-installed application I am using that install app application to control my TV, my digital TV and other various stuff. Uh, earlier you can see that it is introduced in the Nokia phone. At that time it is generally used to transfer contracts and other small files. Right now you can see that I can use that uh, controller IDs to control my gadgets mainly TV and digital TVs and there are more possibilities from this IR port. So in conclusion wireless mode accessories give Note 4 a new dimension. Now you can go wirelessly with headphones, speaker, music system, internet, TV, keyboard, mouse and many more accessories. This is awesome. This completed the series of video of accessories for Samsung Galaxy Note 4. How you find this video useful? Let me know in the comment of this video below. Also tell me if you know other accessories for Samsung Galaxy Note 4. That's all for today. If you like this video give a thumbs up, like and share to this video. And do subscribe to our channel. Subscription link is shown on your screen. And for more videos on Note 4 and upcoming gadgets and technology, keep watching BCD Tech. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye.